Hi, and welcome to weight loss tip number 74. Always behave like people are watching you. It matters what you do behind closed doors. Don't become a closet eater. You know the type of person. They behave correctly when they're with other people and the diet falls apart when they're alone. Are you one of these people? Are you the person who goes to a group meeting, steps on the scales and discover you've gained weight and then proclaim, but I did everything. I followed the diet plan. You may even have the friends around you supporting you saying, yeah, we had lunch with her. She barely ate anything. The next thing you know, there's a discussion about the effectiveness of the, diet, of the group's diet plan. If you're a group leader, you need to nip this in the bud straight away. All diets, even fad diets, work. The trouble is, people don't necessarily work with the diet. People on diets like to negotiate with the diet plan. They like to hold the diet plan in one hand and their favorite foods in the other hand. Don't negotiate with the diet plan because that's just showing that you're willing to negotiate with a price you're willing to pay for your success. The closet diet breaker is always, always negotiating with the diet plan. They haven't cleared out their pantry, nor have they altered their buying habits sufficiently to bring about weight loss. If you look in their pantry, you'll discover packets of biscuits and cake and scone mixes. The freezer still holds ice cream and the flavoured toppings are hidden behind the rice and the pasta that's in the pantry. Closet diet breakers will tell you that these treats are there for the children. But the truth is, these children's treats are temptations for a person who wants to lose weight. Diet plans appear to be restrictive because they have removed these weight gaining temptations from the eating list. Removing the temptations from the household reduces any chance of eating them because you can't eat them if they're not there. Removing temptations is one of the first steps in changing to a healthy lifestyle. Can you name three of your favorite temptations? Are these favorite foods high in fat, high in sugar, or high in both? If your favorite food is high in fat and high in sugar, then you should make a rule about that food. Why? Because your favorite food is probably gaining your weight. If you are a closet diet breaker, you must remove these foods from the shopping list and your pantry because these are the foods that are gaining your weight when no one is watching. It matters what you do behind closed doors and it matters what you do when nobody is watching. So always behave like somebody is watching. Let's just watch this short video just to go over the main ideas again. 